miners are a rare breed, men and women who make their living underground. It's a tradition rich in history in Idaho Silver Valley. The Sunshine Mine near Wallace is the site of what is still the deadliest mining disaster in U.S. history. A fire in 1972 killed 91 miners and trapped dozens more underground. KXLY force Tanya Dahl spoke with one of the men who was trapped underground in the Sunshine Mine. This miner's memorial stands tall here in the Silver Valley, honoring the men that lost their lives on May 2nd, 1972. Ron Flory remembers that day well. It brings back memories. I just, I just can't fathom being, being down there that long. Deep underground with nowhere to go, your mind can play tricks on you. The dramatic rescue in Chile hits close to home for Ron Flory. Tried to figure out in our own minds what they were doing to get down to us. We knew they had to come down. To, to get us out. Back in 1972, when fire erupted in North Idaho Sunshine Mine, Florian fellow miner Tom Wilkinson found themselves trapped 4,800 feet below ground, fleeing from smoke, unaware that 91 fellow miners would die. They'd be the only two survivors. We were just right place at the right time. Our guardian angel was definitely watching over us. The men spent eight days uncertain of their future. Fresh air and scraps from lunch pails kept them alive. The darkness and isolation taking its toll until the day a beam of light appeared. First thing we saw the light again, so we started beating on the, on the pipes and scared the hell out of the guys that was coming back to meet us. As the world focuses on the rescue in Chile, Ron is also watching as 33 miners are painstakingly pulled to safety, one by one. I would imagine it'd be, there'd be a chance of a guy getting claustrophobia because he has such a small area, but. At the same time, he's saying it all the time, I'm going home. <laughs> Greeted by a homecoming they'll never forget. Really good feeling to get out when we got out. Reporting from the Silver Valley, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.